So one of the things that I have noticed being here in Mexico is that on Sundays, it is very much meant for family and friends. Most of the businesses are closed on Sundays. I mean, things like Walmart or the bigger stores, the grocery store, those things are open. But smaller places like the Lavendavia, uh, maybe some of the smaller restaurants, they are closed. And you'll see more people in the parks and more people out cleaning their yards. When I get back to the house, the lady next door is cleaning her yard right now. And you can see all the water coming out from under the wall. That's what they do. They clean these carport outdoor areas with water and bleach or soap and then they squeegee it out onto the walkways and they do a lot of that on Sunday they do that a lot every day but they do uh, a massive cleaning on Sunday I was just in the park and I'm going to show you this beautiful tree cover that's there and it's not a well cared for park it's just a little park that's around the corner from us and there was a fellow there with three of his dogs who all were very friendly and you know you just see more people if you go out on Sundays it is definitely a beautiful place and a beautiful culture and beautiful beautiful people that I've met and been able to talk to I'm learning more Spanish well I'm starting to learn more Spanish and even when I don't know a lot, we're able to communicate at some level because at some level, we all experience the same things. <laughs> hand, hand signs, you know, tree. So if I'm doing this, you know I'm talking about the tree. Um, can I pet your dog? They know what I'm saying. And yes or no, see and no. That's pretty easy to understand. Sometimes facial expressions, body language, those things tell us a lot. And I think you realize that a lot more when you live in a country where you don't speak the language well. We've been doing some research recently about the other countries we want to go to and some of the things we might want to do. And one of the things I found was a work it's called work away it's a literal work away it's like work camping so you do some volunteer work they give you a place to stay and sometimes even feed you um, some of them are for things like working on a farm some of them are working in a hostel being being the person the receptionist um, cleaning maintenance those types of things I'm excited to look into that and to share more of that with you as well it's something that we think we're going to try a little bit of and I'm excited to share that and I'm excited about going to these countries where people speak even less English because I'm going to be forced to learn more Spanish and learn to communicate even better and I'm hoping that over time of being immersed in it it's going to force me to just start thinking that way and speaking that way. And that's it. I just thought that was an interesting thing and I wanted to talk about it. So I'll see you soon.